everyone, welcome to your weekday update. My name is Tyler Bullets. I'm the Director of Youth and Family Ministries here at First Lutheran Church, and this is your weekday update. And this week, to have our weekday update, we need to have a talk, a real talk. Well, it's something that we all need to continue to work on, and that is communication. Honestly, it's been one of the things that I have been trying to work on in year two here at First Lutheran Church, trying to have better communication with not only you, the student, but also with your parents. And I think it's something that we all need to continue to work on. So this last week, as per some discussion that I had with a few students, let's go and work at the Dimension Community Food Show. It's great, scheduled it, happened, and one person showed up. I know it's a little bit rough. This is a very difficult time of year, and especially within the world in which we're in, a lot of plans get made around the 4th of July. I get it. But we also need to make sure that we're continuing that communication back and forth so that we can make sure that we're moving in the direction together on where we're wanting to go. See, part of what's been very difficult for me in this time is based on the lack of communication coming back and forth from you guys and gals, it's been really hard for me to know where to be putting my time and effort to make sure that we're moving in the right direction on where you see that we need to be moving towards. And that's a really important part of my job. I always see you students as my second boss. Pastor Corey is my first boss, but you are my second boss that matter just as much. Because it's your vision and where you guys are wanting to put time and work and effort and things that you're wanting to do that steers where my time and efforts go also. So in this time in which we're trying to figure out all these different things, what I'm hoping that we can have is some summer fun activities that are really fun, along with that we continue to do some service different types of things around the community of Bemidji to help support the community in what's going on, but also being able to better understand what are things that are going on and people are wrestling with here in Bemidji and finding ways that we can help. That's part of what I see our calling as being a Christian is, is partially going to where the need is and making sure that we're helping that especially within our own city of where we're at. We can build relationships so that we can continue to help these people. But in that same breath, I have a question for you that I need an answer to. And I took notes. What are you needing from the church right now? Because I know for myself, I have found my mental state is all over the place with trying to figure out what should we be doing next. And I think it's time that I ask that question to you to help give me some guidance on it. Because partially to me, and it's something that I've talked with a couple different people about a lot recently, is you are, especially being the youth of the church, such an important part of the church community so important because you help steer the church and help us stay modern and help us move in the places where we need to as the church move because a lot of times you see it better than the adults do myself and that included you see on top of that the church is more yours than it is mine because you have more time to continue to shape the church and move the church in the direction that it needs to be going than I do. Because heaven forbid, you should live longer than me. That's the importance of what we're trying to build here. And that's why it's so important that there's literally a whole fund to spend just on the youth of the church so that the church moves the right direction. So what are you needing from the church right now? I mean, I have other announcements that we can run through, like the National Youth Gathering, which I've heard from a couple people on, and you've heard me ramble about for months on end. Details will be down below. 
We could also talk about daily devotions, which I'd love to hear a daily devotion coming from our youth to help steer and help our congregation understand what are the things that you're wrestling with and dealing with and how is God fitting into that picture for you at this time? Because we need those voices. We don't need more voices like mine right now in the church. We don't need more voices of the elderly. We need more voices of the youth to help us know where to move. So I'm putting the ball in your court. I'm hoping here over this holiday weekend that you can spend some time and reflect on this. Shoot me an email, shoot me a text message, call the office, and then let me know what do you see that we need to as a church that can be from a service activity to, I've always wanted to do this, to whatever is going through your head right now that, Tyler, I really don't know even how to handle this. And let's talk about it. Because part of this relationship back and forth, part of growing as a Christian is being in community with each other. And that's what's so hard right now community in which we're used to and accustomed to is changing and it's changing rapidly and right now the voice of youth and where you see the church needs to be carries a whole new meaning of growth because the church will not be the same when we get back together so this is a golden opportunity to shape the church in the way that you feel and together we can work together to figure out where should that be? Is there a specific place that the church hasn't been that we're missing? Is there something that I've been overlooking that we need to be looking at? Is there some way that needs to be done to be able to better connect with all people? I know it's kind of a hard, deep discussion to be having, but I know that it's something that's needing to be said. It's something that's needing to be if we're going to continue to be doing physically distant, spiritually connected, is there certain days of the week that just don't work for you? And that we can try working around and fitting as many schedules as possible. We can't fit everybody's, but at least then we would know maybe there's certain nights that we just really shouldn't do something right now because you guys are busy. I get that. There's life outside of church. But make sure that there's also still time for God to work in you. So, that's been your weekday update this week. A little bit different, a little bit hard, but I really look forward to hearing your answer to that question. Because it's a question that's been weighing on me. And I really don't know the answer. I really want to make sure that we continue to use this time as a growth time for all of us. And maybe that's in communication. Maybe that's in growing and bonding together. And maybe it's a combination of both. I really hope it's both. So, that's been your weekday update. My name is Tyler Bublitz. I'm the Director of Youth and Family Ministry here at First Lutheran Church. And this has been your weekday update. And I'll see you next week.